What's up, Yates? Best man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. Like this damn video, if you will. Subscribe to the page. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. May you have many wives. Those who support the Ice Boy. So, uh, what we have here is the same sorceress that I had in my last video, only I've made a few modifications, alright? One of which is that my poison res is now maxed out. Not that it really mattered all that much, because I had a decent amount of survivability. But basically, it was at 33. So I maxed it out with this shit. And another major change is she's doing a hell of a lot more damage. I'm going to show you how much more. So the Nova in my last video, it wasn't all that impressive with the damage. But again, this is an infinity-wielding sorceress. Ugh. So a lot of her damage comes from the massive amount of lightning pierce that she has on her character. So without those grand charms, at max, I was doing 3,111 damage. But now, with all of them, 4,300 and 95 damage. So I would, qu I would say it's quite significant, right? Like 25% or some shit. And these are called Sparking Grand Charms of Balance. 1 to Lightning Skills and 12% Faster Hit Recovery. Which I thought was going to be the best way to go with this build. Because her downside was her very poor Faster Hit Recovery. And if I really wanted to do it right, I could have had these Poison Res Charms also have the 5 FHR on them as well. And I could have filled the rest up with FHR, maybe MF charms or something like that. But I didn't want to go that far just yet. So right now her uh, FHR is 72. And in my last video, it was zero. All right, which was a big deal, especially with the Nova Sorceress. Because you have to get up in Day's Grill. And uh, when you do that, you start getting swatted a little bit. And obviously it's going to really screw things up for you. If you have a poor uh, fast rate recovery. Now this one, I think, is just one of the most amazing ones that I've tried yet. Uh, I intend to try other builds, maybe with the Studas, with the uh, Obsession Staff, and all that crap. But I just love wielding me an Infinity on my Wayman. Just the godly appeal that it offers. Just She's holding on to a frickin' scythe, okay? Uh, it just looks pretty cool. And the level 12 Conviction, and the negative 55% enemy Light Res. And I still have that 105 faster cast rate. But yeah, I am going to try some Astutas and Spirit or Astutas and Headhunter's Glory with three times uh, perfect lightning fastest in it. I'm going to be trying things like that, alright? So stay tuned for those videos. But let's go to the Cold Plains. And uh, I just love killing these damn Fallen's. I love beating the shit out of them. I uh, love being the bad guy. And I mean, they go down pretty damn. Oh my god, no, not not ready for that just yet. Let's take a look-see. Let's try it again. Here's one. Oh my god. That was just one. 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 Oh! Oh my god! No, this is this is this is not it's not even impressive yet. It's just it's just oh a shako! Anyone want a free shako? Does anyone need a free shako? Let me know in the uh, comments below. Oh, one to sort skills and 19% better chance of getting magic item. I might have to hold on to that just for style points. I can't. But yeah, let me know if any of you guys need a free shaka. All right, I'll keep this thing right there for now. What the hell's in this? Ooh, five. Oh my god. 524. Um, defense and uh, four sockets. But I'll show you the rest of the gear in just a minute here. Uh, she's not perfect. All right, she has her faults. She has her flaws. But yeah, the thing is, look, I mean, look at the mana. Look at the mana. Watch this. Look at this. It refills faster than I can cast the damn Novus. I mean, I don't know if I could run. I don't think I could run out. Look at this. That's the amazing thing about this mana. Look at this. It costs 48 mana for Nova. Creates an expanding ring of lightning to shock nearby enemies. Well, it doesn't just shock them. It murders them in cold blood. Oh, it does run out. Look how long it takes! Will it run out? Uh, perhaps for research purposes, I should just keep doing this bullshit. Make a whole video on this. Yep! Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it, it might run out. You can cast a ship for like two minutes straight. Now watch this. I'm gonna let it go. 
Look how fast it refills. All right, the bigger mana pool, the better, because then the percentage uh, regen uh, regens more mana per second. Prayer Mercenary, with Chains of Honor, Ethereal for style points, and uh, the uh, Life Leech, of course. Insight, level 17 Meditation Aura when equipped. Uh, a very nice Ethereal Cryptic Axe with 810 max damage, and then style points right here as well. Cure Bone Visage. How do you say that? Can you guys let me know in the comments below? Is it Visage or is it Visage? Let me know in the comments below. Level 1 Cleansing Aura when equipped. And uh, that, I think, has some sort of synergy uh, with prayer, meditation, all that shit that might help with healing or something. But uh, nonetheless, this thing also has poison length reduced by 50%, which is pretty freaking awesome. But, uh, yeah, the reason why I have very, very little life is because she heals so damn fast because of the prayer. And remember, I have Mana Shield, which in this case absorbs 91% of the damage. And it ignores Cold, Fire, and uh, Lightning Resists, alright? So you don't even have to worry about these resists. My Lightning is negative 25. But it's just, it, it negates that bullshit. Uh, and then the Poison Rest is the only thing you have to worry about. But my last video, I only had 33% Poison Rest. She was poisoned, and she was still healing faster than the Poison was taking her down. So it seems like... She didn't even really need it, dog. But, uh, let's see how well this... I, I think this might be the best damn sword that I've tried yet. I mean, I did... I, I love this combination. Here, let's go kill this homies up here. And I, and I even have sta... Oh, my God. I even have static at my disposal. Look, look at the range of static. Holy freaking toad. Are you kidding me? And look at this, I, 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 don't, I haven't used a single pot. Um, this is amazing. How much lightning pure? Okay, negative 83% to enemy lightning rest. Oh my god. Plus 494% to lightning skill damage. Uh, that's with, uh, like, griffins and uh, lightning mastery, of course. And, uh, of course, much are... Lighting means you're centered. A nice five men after each kill. I'm just keeping that shit pumped way up. You know, war traps, you can toss them aside. All right? Toss them aside. Put on Silk Weave. Uh, the more mana, the merrier. All right? You love that mana. And, uh, I mean, it, it gives the max mana, but more importantly, the five men after each kill. And when you're a character like this, you're killing the shit out of everything. Speaking of which, let's try the trap, which has been basically the biggest challenge for this character. Let's go right in the middle. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh, they, they took our- look at that, they took- they suck- they suckled that mana. But even still... Even still, the Vamin... ...hath prevailed! Alright, I'm gonna identify these things. What's in here? That's oh, sorry. That, that cute little thing right there. Oh my god! Warp Spear, Gothic Staff. Plus three to Sorceress skill levels. Ignore target's defense, so you can swat the shit out of Fallen's with it and hit him almost every damn time. Then it has those other things, but yeah, I mean... I mean, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, it, it wouldn't be... Look at that, level 30... Uh, how, how awesome would that be to find that early on? That's that's not bad. Of course, you could make a Spirit Sword not too long after that, or even before that, for that matter. Uh, if, if you're lucky, you'll definitely make one before that. It's level 39. So, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much a worthless piece of shit. But uh, that's the thing, is they should enhance the uniques a little bit in this game, I think. And uh, some would even argue maybe they should nerf Spirit, because it just takes a place of everything. Until you find, like, top game and then GG, like Hoto or uh, even Aki for that matter. But uh, Estudas basically sucks big you-know-what, unfortunately. I think that definitely could use a buff. Estudas Terper. But let me know in the comments below. What items in D2 Resurrected do you think could use a buff, and what items do you think could use nerfs? Alright, let me know in the comments below. I think they, they definitely need to buff a lot of the uh, elite uh, uniques for show. For show, for show, for show. But, I mean, this is just too good. I mean, it's not, it's not too, but this is toad, is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, a freaking hog of a sorceress, Wayman. Oh my god. That's hideous! Look at the look at the damage! Look at that big boy! Come on! Look at that big boy! 
Yeah, uh, uh, look, uh, the problem is I'm gonna want to identify this bow. I gotta take... Okay, okay. It sucks, big. You know what? That's fine. Here we go. Let's let's uh, let's identify this amulet. But holy, oh my god! Uh, this is amazing. Great ball. I'm gonna identify. Oh, it's not a thrill. I, I just I like identifying shit that you find in 85 plus areas. This. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, I'm curious. What does this look like on Player's 8? Oh my god! Absolutely destructive! I just gotta kick Bell's ass. This is amazing! But yeah, comment below. Uh, what do you think is the best sorcerer's weapon? I mean, I'll answer it for you. It's this one. Alright. Any opinion contrary, just- Oh! Dumbass! Come on! Oh, shit! Uh, I mean, it still- it still stands true, alright? That was user error. You saw, I just- you can't expect to just teleport right up into his grill and survive, right? You still can't expect that, necessarily, if you run out of mana. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna finish this, so I'll be right back. Alright, looks like I was able to teleport to him. To the hombre. Hombre, hombre, hombre. Don't you die, big boy. Yeah, that's the problem. If you run out of your mana shield, uh, that's the problem. Because then, of course, remember, uh, your resists aren't being, aren't, are not being ignored like how they are when you have the mana shield active. So that's why she got her ass eaten so fast. Uh, he ate that ass so fast. I'm barely even able to think about it. I was barely even able to comprehend what the hell was going on there. And, uh, she was dead, basically. Look at this. Yeah, that's another thing, is I think they should add a unique Archon plate. This is actually a really cool item right here. One of all skills, 20 FCR. Uh, in some cases, it, it could be, uh, uh... Some might prefer it over Viper Meiji, for example. Like, I think for a job is on you. That nice three mana for each kill. This thing's a freaking hog. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, imagine a unique Archon plate, and what do you think of the stats on such a hog of an item should be? Comment below your thoughts on that. Like, should it have an aura or something, or should it be... It should probably be, like, mage-based. Uh, maybe, like, some Diablo 1-inspired thing. I know they already have Nadja's light plate in uh, Diablo 2, because that's a Diablo 1 item. But just, uh, just imagine the possibilities with a unique Archon plate. But nonetheless, this build also has Mage Fist... It also has the Stone of Jordan. Uh, just check out the awesome mana you get from that. Because like I said, the more mana, the merrier, because then your regen is just going to regen more mana per second, because it works on percentages. Your Arak Belt. Uh, Storm Eye, I needed one FCR ring, so this is the one that I picked. Uh, Silk Weaves, Skin of Viper Meiji, with a perfect facet. A nearly perfect Griffins, with a nice facet in there as well, negative 23% enemy lightning res. At 19% to lightning skill damage. Maras, plus 2 dual skills, 5 dual attributes, 28 res, so almost perfect. And then I have a torch, an Annie, and a Sunder. And the skills, I just maxed out uh, Nova and its static field synergy, along with lightning mastery. I put one into warmth, put one into frozen armor. And then I did the whole energy shield thing. All right, And then the rest into telekinesis to make it more efficient. So, I mean, that's what I did with this build, and I am just... Uh, this is just cray, cray How good this actually is. Like, check this out. Here, here's a massive... Look, I love going in these areas. Uh, you got so much density right here. Uh, with some character like this that is just so fast at wasting shit. Oh my god. Jeez. It's amazing. And look how fast the mana goes up. I mean, even if you run up by getting hit a couple times, uh, you can, like, teleport your man is going up. <coughs> your life <coughs> rarely ever... I mean, you don't even need health potions on this character. <coughs> because, as mentioned, uh, the poison doesn't hurt her. Especially now that her poison res is maxed out. And just the cleansing on your mercenary helm, along with the prayer for the life regen, you don't even need it. <coughs> your only concern is running out of mana. I mean, you might as well just... I mean, it keeps things simple. You can fill your belt 
with all amount of parts, and you do just fine. All right. So I'm going to teleport to Bell. Let's see how well it does the waves. All right. So here I am by Bell, and I'm going to static him just to make this a little faster. <clears throat> Again, this is the 105 uh, FCR breakpoint that I'm at with this character. Just for fun, I'm going to kill some of these guys. Don't even need to. Ooh, what was that? Oh my god. Hideous damage. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's identify this thing. <coughs> Duck through the dire wolf. <coughs> That's fine. You can just chill here and hold the button down. <clears throat> Look at that. Let's see if she gets hit. I don't think so. A little bit of poison. But as you can see here, it just it fills up faster than when it goes down. And I am almost sure if it was doing that last video. Maybe it wasn't the poison from that guy, though. That guy has some good poison. Yeah, don't let that guy... Uh, don't let that guy poison you. You might want to have an antidote pot or two. <clears throat> but yeah, just the biggest weakness, of course, is when they suckle your mana pot dry. Then you no longer have that sustainability and survivability. And uh, you're basically screwed. So get that mana up. Oh! Shit! Actually, I almost died right there. See that? Because the shield ran out. Uh, once your mana empties, the shield disappears and you have to recast it again. So here, I'm going to use static on these guys. Oh, my. Jeez, I might have to try uh, this build on Player's 8. So I think I, I might have to do that in my next video for experimental purposes. For research purposes in Shiat. All right, not bad. Okay, it's going to be a hog on Player's 8, but that's fine. All right, there you have it. So let me know what changes I should make to this build. Uh, where would you rank this in the sorceresses that I've tested thus far in the research institution? Comment below your thoughts on the matter. And would you like to see this shit running on Player's 8 difficulty? Once again, I appreciate you guys for all your support. Blessings to my patrons and channel members. May your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. And may the creator bless you and keep you. Peace with you.